Shalom, family. Shalom. Happy Thursday evening. Yes. Another Thursday. Another day. Hoping all your days were great. Man, this was a rough day. At least for me. I don't know about you all. Yesterday was, as they call it, truly hump day. Where we had a lot of work to take care of. A lot of things to get covered. And today, uh, had two days of really, really busy work days. So today we're getting into the book of Proverbs, King Solomon's book of Proverbs, starting at chapter one. The Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel, to the wisdom and instruction to perceive the words of understanding, to receive the instruction of wisdom, equity and retribution and equity, to give subtly subtly to the simple to the young man knowledge and discretion a wise man will hear and will increase learning and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsel to understand a proverb and the interpretation the words of the wise and their dark sayings the fear of the Yahweh is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. My son, hear the instructions of thy father, and forsake not the law of thy mother. For they shall be an ornament of grace unto thy head, and chains about thy neck. My son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. If they say, come with us, let us lay wait for blood. Let us lurk privily for the innocent without cause. Let us swallow them up alive as the grave and whole as those that go down into the pit. Shall we find all precious substance? We shall fill our houses with spoil. Cast in thy lot among us. Let us all have one purse. My son, walk not thou in the way with them. Refrain thy foot from their path. For their feet run to evil and make haste to shed blood. Surely in vain the net is spread in the sight of any bird. And they lay wait for their own blood. They lurk privily for their own lives. So are the ways of everyone that is greedy to gain, which taketh away the life of the owners thereof. Wisdom crieth without. She uttereth her voice in the streets. She crieth in the chief places of concourse, in the opening of the gates. In the city she uttereth her words, saying, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. Because I have called, and ye refuse, I have stretched out my hand, and no man regarded. But ye have set at naught all my counsel, and would none of my reproof. Also, I will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh, when your fear cometh as desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish come upon you. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but I shall not, I shall not, they shall not find me. For they hated knowledge and did not choose to fear the Yahweh. They were none of my counsel. They despised all my reproof. Therefore, shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, 
and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whosoever hearken unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from fear of evil. And now the epistle of Paul to the Israelites in Rome. Romans chapter 1. Paul, a servant of Yahushua HaMashiach, called to be an apostle separated unto the gospel of Elohim, which he had promised afore by his prophets in the Holy Scriptures, concerning his son Yahushua HaMashiach, our Yahweh, which was made of the seed of David according to the flesh, and declared to be the son of Elohim with power, according to the spirit of holiness, by the resurrection from the dead, by whom we received grace and apostleship for obedience to the faith among all nations for his name, among who, whom are ye also called of Yahushua HaMashiach, to all that be in Rome, beloved of Elohim, called to be saints, grace and shalom, from Elohim our Father, and from Yahweh Yahushua HaMashiach. First, I thank my Elohim through Yahushua HaMashiach, for you all, that your faith is spoken of throughout the whole world. For Elohim is my witness, whom I serve with my spirit in the gospel of his Son, that without ceasing I make mention of you always in my prayers, making request, if by any means, now at length I might have a prosperous expedition by the will of Elohim to come unto you. For I long to see you, that I may impart unto you some spiritual gift, to the end ye may be established, that is, that I may be comforted together with you by the mutual faith both of you and me. Now, I would not have you ignorant, brethren, that oft times I propose to come to you, but was let here to here hitherto that I might have some fruit among you also, even as among other going northern kingdom nation. I am debtor both to the Greeks and to the barbarians, both to the wise and to the unwise, as so as much as in me I am ready to preach the gospel to you that is that are in Rome also. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Hamashiach, for it is the power of Elohim unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Yehuda first and also to the Greek. For therein is the righteousness of Elohim revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the equitable shall live by faith, for the wrath of Elohim is revealed from heaven against all unrighteousness and unrighteous men and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth of un unrighteous. Un <laughs> I'm going to read 18 again. For the wrath of Elohim is revealed from heaven against all unrighteousness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Because that which may be known of Elohim is manifest in them. For Elohim <clears throat> hath shown it unto them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and divinity, so that they are without excuse. Because that, when they knew Elohim, they glorified him not as Elohim, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish hearts were darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools, and changed the glory of the uncorruptible Elohim into an image made like to corruptible man and to birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. 
Wherefore Elohim also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Who changed the truth of Elohim into a lie and worship and serve the cre cre creature more than the creator? Who is blessed forever? Omna. For this cause Elohim gave them up to unto vile affection. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burning in their lusts one toward another, men with men working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meat. And even as they did not like to retain Elohim in their knowledge, Elohim gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of Elohim, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, who knowing the retribution of Elohim, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. So here we are. We've read today the book of Romans chapter 1, 1 through 26, excuse me, 1 to 32. So I pray that this day is a blessed day. I pray that you've had an opportunity to rest your mind. Sometimes I would, you know, as a, as a footnote here, if sometimes you're tired and you can take a nap, You'd find it, it would be beneficial. So with that, I'm going to say Shalom. But before I leave today, I'm drinking my green drink. Yes, that's my drink green. Uh, wheatgrass. Wheatgrass powder and water. Yeah, it will clean you out very well. I pray that you are blessed in the Father. Shalom. Peace be unto you.